Throughout all this right now, rescue efforts continue along with release efforts. And as you can imagine, Tennessee is doing what it can to lend a hand. Let's go now live to uh, News Channel 5 reporter Sophie nielsen Colding. She's over at the Red Cross headquarters on Charlotte where they're gearing up with the volunteers. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Nick. I'm actually joined now with by J. David Kitchen, the Senior Disaster Program Manager here at the Red Cross in Nashville. And you are actually going down there yourself this uh, later today. You've been doing this a long time. Talk about the scale of this disaster compared to one you've see, ones you've seen in the years past. It's the only disaster I can remember being uh, defined as catastrophic before the event, and that says a great deal. I think this will greatly overshadow Hurricane Sandy in terms of scope and response and in many respects could end up being the most significant disaster in American history. You guys are planning to be down there for possibly months to clean this up. That's correct. Uh, and again, Hurricane Sandy was well over a year. Um, and I, I would say that time frame is is probably going to be close for the for the correct time frame for this disaster. Now you're actually heading to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Talk about the need there. We've been talking a lot about Texas. Uh, Louisiana is probably the untold story. It's all part of Hurricane uh, Harvey. Uh, Texas has gotten or will get 45 inches of rain, but portions of Louisiana are 15 inches. There's been as many as three tornadoes spawn in one day. You have uh, six of the parishes that are flooding or um, have been victims of uh, tornadoes. So it's, it's extremely bad there also. And a lot of ways to help. The Red Cross is asking for financial donations this morning. One way you can do that is going to redcross.org, calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. The easiest way, if you got your cell phone, just text Harvey to 90999. Thank you so much, David, for being with us, and good luck on your trip down there later today. For now, live in Nashville, Sophie Nelson-Colding, News Channel 5.